Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Most solar data access is actually down this morning, except for the old Proba 2 swap. You're seeing that here. Feels like space weather for cavemen, right? Still works, though. Today, we're going over the end of the solar storm event of the week. We'll see amazing auroras, signs of deep plasma penetration, and a study that puts things into a neat package of a bigger picture from a physics standpoint of triggering magnetic storm activity, how that plays into the disaster cycle, and what the solar micronova might look like. Let's start with the solar wind. The initial impact a couple days ago was strong and struck with south-facing magnetism, blue line at the bottom of that part of the panel. That's what drives major geomagnetic storm conditions, and the bigger impact we had last night, which took plasma speed to 1,000 kilometers per second, had northern magnetism, so it did not produce major solar storms, even though it was in fact significantly stronger. This is a critically important point, the magnetic angle, north versus south, the magnetic pull flip within the solar wind electric field. You can see here why it matters for solar storm levels as much or more than the density and speed of the shock wave. The weaker shock wave here caused the bigger storm initially because of magnetism. By the way, the proton storms are waning back as well, should be just about done later today. And folks, this is the southernmost auroral shot from the event, the 13th parallel in El Salvador. Not supposed to be possible without a major G5 storm, but again, we're in the middle of a magnetic pole shift. On X last night, I said to look for pink aurora and there was some confusion. It's not the red above the green, which can indeed sometimes look pink. Here's another example of the red above the green and some rare blue too. But this is what I meant, smaller scale, pink skirts on the bottom of the green tendrils. That's the pink aurora, and it signifies very deep plasma penetration. We got it in the solar storm, and again, that's only supposed to be happening in the biggest events, but again, we're losing the magnetic field during the pole shift. Interesting article today describing how these major solar storms do in fact require the magnetism of the shockwave to be pointed in a certain direction. It's easy to get caught up in solar flares, CMEs, and coronal holes, but the magnetic reversal of the solar wind matters a lot. And yes, folks, the galactic magnetic flip with the current sheet is exactly the same thing. Where the solar wind version causes magnetic storms at Earth, the galactic version is causing a magnetic storm in our entire solar system. We call it the disaster cycle, resulting in the solar micronova. And while a new animation is out, showing what scientists think the first moments of a nova might look like, they've accidentally made it very easy to modify the file and video to make it look exactly how I believe the solar micronova is going to look, especially extended out and combined with other ESO production videos. This is what unlocks the crust for the pole shift, and whether that's ECDO or a Eulerian gyroscopic rebalancing, that shift is coming. Ethical skeptic Roger Cunningham and I are meeting in May at Observer Ranch for a summit and review and charting the path forward. Come out to Observer Ranch, May 1 through 5, 2026. It's the event of the year. Tickets are below. Our winter tour starts in just over two weeks. Five cities in five months. Links to those events is below as well. And of course, we are closing out the season at Observer Ranch. Last major event of the year is this weekend. August Dunning will be there for the premiere of the documentary and the last pole shift conference of the year. Links to everything is below. The pole shift event with Ethical Skeptic, the winter tour, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.